Yo, so there's a couple things you need to know before I start the story, and it's kind of a yap session, so if you want to just go straight into it, you could just skip to the timestamp on the screen. Basically, if you don't already know, and you're probably confused, basically, I'm skipping the Xiancho Lofu quest because most of the footage from it got deleted. I did keep recording up until the Abundance Deer boss. After the Abundance Deer boss, basically, this entire section, the top clouded tower thrust, I don't know how, but it just got deleted. And it would feel awkward for me to just to have like a bunch of videos of the Xiancho Lofu and not be able to include this. Whatever happened in here, you can go probably see someone else play it, but you won't be able to see me play it. I did record this section, but again, I don't feel like it would be right for me to have to like not be able to show my reactions or all of this and have to go straight to straight to literally Ting Yun's funeral. So... It's gone. Moving on, we are going to be starting Pentacone. And I'm also using face cam for this. This is going to be like the first time I try to use face cam for stall rail stuff. If you want to let me know how you feel about it, just let me know in the comments. But I do want to try using my face cam more for these story reactions because I feel like it does add a little bit more to the videos. If you could see my face and my reactions. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes where I'm just like completely silent and I just let everyone else do the talking. I feel like sometimes it's a little awkward. I feel like having my face does allow me to show more of my reactions to it. Ahem. Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something Aww. important came up. So I, the conductor... I had to spend some time preparing. Pom pom, so cute. Our next destination is the planet of festivities, Panacone. Yeah. I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel. But before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. Panacone is located in Azdana, a star system brimming with memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Mm -hmm. Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Okay. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different. So if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptoms, you should take them seriously. Hmm, you may experience dizziness, hallucination, alteration of your memories, maybe even death. But if you experience those, just let me know. Second. Belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. True, Got true. It. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. Well, I mean. Third and final. Rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. We're getting new crewmates? Uh, allow me to explain. Just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Panacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Mm -hmm. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. Mm -hmm. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. Yeah. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penacone their permanent home. Oh, so there were previous members there. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and mm. Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure. Wouldn't you agree? True. According to the passenger list, Makes sense. the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names, either. <laughs> this will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. She said, these people are not real. <laughs> that motherfucker back there is not real! There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double-check your bags. I'll broadcast an announcement before we jump. There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, 
it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. Yeah, no surprises at like as far as we know. <laughs> Here the picture of calm as always. Meanwhile, March 7th, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. I'm excited too. <laughs> I trust Penicone won't let you all down. But regarding the family's invitation, I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Mm -hmm. Just not now. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Okay. I spoke to Mr. Yank. I'll be staying on the express this time. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. Aww, he's not coming. Well, why not though? Thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but I don't like bustling places. And <laughs> someone has to handle the work on the express. I guess, Pay yeah. no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Mm, um, okay. I'd advise double checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. You keep telling us to check our bags. I feel like something's gonna pop up. Camera, check. Extra clothes, check. Toiletries, aw, drat. The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although, I hear that Penacone's resort hotel is pretty luxurious. I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. You think they have like an inter-astral Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase. What else should I bring? Take me. <laughs> Take me with you. Uh, you won't fit in the suitcase. Can't you walk? No. All right. Ahem. Is she gonna stand? Five, is she gonna be standing four, again? Please show us. Three, two, I don't see her standing. Two. Well, what the? Wait, where the hell? Um. <sighs> Not another one. Oh, hello. What the? Where are we? Come with me. Uh, what? Who are you? These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone. A dreamscape. Okay, so we did enter a dream. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams' inaugural welcome for us. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Nah, I won't. I'm built different. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. All right. I like her hair and her eyes. She does kind of look like uh, A or like the right in May. Pretty. I like the bubbles there. It's very relaxing. Have you guys noticed that there is a recurring theme of whales in Star Rail? I'm not there. Turn back. My fault. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. Acheron. You can call me whatever you want. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. Whoa, look at that. After you. She is so bossy. To oh. Walk up the wall? Oh, I guess here we go. Oh, 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 that's trippy. Possible. Why not? Okay, that's trippy. She can hear the thoughts in my head? <clears throat> Why not? Oh, that's gonna give a lot of people motion sickness. But that's cool. That's cool for me. We're that's cool. There. Can you still walk? Now I have become Trailblaze, the perambulator of walls. <sighs> I have become you're funny. Myth. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. These voices. I saw, I saw They're just wolf. shadows of the dreamscape. That's Sam. Pay no heed to them. There's Sparkle and Black Swan. Or she said don't turn back, whatever. 
Well, okay, okay. All right. You could talk to them for dialogue. Wait, I'm gonna go back then. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. Sam is so cool. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? She can't sing? Hmm. Oh, hey, Dr. Ratio. Oh, the charming audacity to think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. <laughs> They're gambling right now. Uh, what's up, Sparkle? Keeper, do you think you can just leave? I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice, I've already chosen. She just rejected Sparkle. That's crazy. <laughs> Welcome to the oh. Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Hi, Misha. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But what if I don't want to forget? But before you do, I would make a request of you. Okay. What's up? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? Ooh, they gave us choices. Um, I think this is gonna affect something. What do I say? Mm. Wrong answer ruins your account. <laughs> you make the wrong answer, you lose your 50-50 on her banner. <laughs> Perhaps we have. She does remind me of uh, May from Honka Impact 3rd, as well as uh, A. She does have the similar color scheme, and she does kind of give off vibes of May. I'm going to say perhaps we have. Because I don't even remember my memories either. Revoke memories of an old friend. Mm. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Mm. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Mm. Okay, I see what they're doing here. These are definitely texts that are probably going to change the outcomes of some things. I feel no fear. I do fear losing them, personally. This is just a reasonable option for me. This one is just, I'm being funny. <laughs> hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Does she mean, would I wish to stay in Pentacony? In the dream forever? Ooh. Ooh. I mean, that's a hard choice, actually. I don't want to stay in a dream forever. I don't want to escape from reality like that. But at the same time, I feel like that kind of says something will happen to them in the future and that staying here would be better than reality because I did say that I would rather not lose them at all. I do fear losing them. I think it depends. It depends for sure. So I'm just going to say it depends on the price that I would have to pay. Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? Ooh. 
That's the toughest one so far. I mean, I could just say, I don't know. <laughs> I could just say, mm. why are you asking me this? <laughs> what? <laughs> but I mean, I really don't know. Cause that is a tough question. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm probably gonna be like one of the only people that says, I don't know. <laughs> I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Bad ending. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. Worst and so ending. And we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? Do I lie or do I tell the truth? Because I don't know who she is, but does the Trailblazer know who she is? And is she asking us or the Trailblazer? I think I want to stick with my first answer, though. I'm going to say I remember her from somewhere. Just to stick with the story. Be consistent. <laughs> I understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you alike yet distinct gave entirely different responses Is she breaking the fourth wall that was my final question thank you we all have our paths to walk so we shall bid our farewells well we meet again the golden dream is getting restless in the coming nights of long i'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies and finally your sight will only see black and white. Mm. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. Oh, sh what you must do now is ponder its significance. <sighs> and then... You can return to the waking world. She just That's where we all find our answers. She just decked us. She was crying too. Did I make the wrong choice? Did I make the wrong choice? No way, man. No way. What's wrong? Why are you crying all of a sudden? Did I just make the wrong choice? Oh, account ruined. Himiko dies. Pom Pom disappears. Marge is frozen again. Don Hung just disappears. GG. I may have dreamed of an old friend. Mm, sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Astana and already... Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Pentaconi. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. Mm -hmm. I wish I could wander Penacone streets today, but I'm pretty train tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. I'll make sure to take pictures for you, Pom Pom. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. <laughs> You're up? How's your prep going? Welton Himeko beat us to the punch. But I stuck around for you. Let's get going. Wow. I love the aesthetic of Penacone. It's so pretty. <laughs> We're here at last. Oh, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Uh, imagine they just like reach inside of him and be like... <laughs> What's this you got here, huh, buddy? Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby. And those endless rows, they're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. Where are our rooms? But come on, Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet them there. Is this Misha? Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> If you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Hi, Misha. It's the child from the dream. Do you work at this hotel? I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacone. Pleased to be at your service. 
If you need help with your baggage. Uh, over here. Something's not right. What? Should you need Already? assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. No way we already have something going wrong at the hotel. How is it that every single time we go to a hotel, something goes wrong? So I hear this hotel is pretty unique. Uh, yeah, it is. The Reverie does not only provide accommodation for its guests, it is also connected to both Panacone's reality and dreamscape. Guests from all over the cosmos come here to immerse themselves in a marvelous, dreamy journey. Mm hmm Are dreams fake? A good question. Maybe not all dreams are false. Well, at least the ones in Panacone aren't. Or perhaps should I say they are... Uh, another reality? Hmm. So it's like, this is an alternate universe? How is it working here? Uh, uh, are you asking me? Uh, hmm. Well, it's not too bad. Many guests come and go, and I get to hear all about their adventures. Are you being paid well enough, Misha? How many hours do you work a week? You'll know what I mean when you enter a dream. Panacone will not disappoint. It's so pretty. Hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? <laughs> We've just arrived and there's already drama? Oh, God. I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. Really? But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. Oh. These are the only four names on the reservation list. What? So I'm not included? <laughs> yes, and I'm Mr. Don Hung reporting for duty. <laughs> Don I'm Don Hung. Hung. <laughs> I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. But when we responded to the family's invitation, he hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. He's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for his status. I, even if that is so, I'm afraid I feel like, yeah, I definitely feel like it's going to be a little more complicated than that. I show my profile, whatever. No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just... Well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Panacone's most important moment of every era. Ooh. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Look at him. I like his eyes. His eyes colors stand out so much. Well, hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express Please do not make it harder for her. We are sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble adventuring of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. Adventuring. A non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. The watchmaker? Who? Also, his eyes? <laughs> I can't help but look at his eyes. He needs brown contacts? He's literally like the, the blue-eyed people meme. I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Oh. Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Panacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have oh. an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us. Oh, he's an IPC member. All right, never mind. Everything I was thinking about him completely changed. I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? Okay, here I've been we go. I've waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? Here we go. It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. 
We hope to borrow your status to vouch for him. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Oh, I could kill people. I don't know. Now, this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Pentaconi before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that if I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. Alright, I'm already getting bad vibes from this guy. <sighs> Here we go. But, what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. Mm. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... There you go, miss. Please allow him to check in on my account. Oh, thanks. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... Ali, just a moment. Oh, hey! The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. It's Sunday. The most Sunday. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. Wait, their designs are interesting as hell. I like the halos around their head. You said you were the most dashing person in Pentacony. How interesting. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Okay. Wait, what? You're... Oh, wait, is she a pop star? Oh, wait, is March about to have a fangirl moment? Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, she's about to have a fangirl moment. The singer, Epsilon Superstar. If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? Yep, here she goes. I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. <laughs> oh, it really is, Robin. To run into her in person here. But she has a photo card of her. <laughs> it is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Pentaconi like him? Truth be told. I am a guest like everyone. Penaconi is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penaconi. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. Hmm. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. I see. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. Yeah, screw that guy, Aventurine. <sighs> Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Ooh. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. We got better rooms Mr. too? Mr. Aventurine Ooh. has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Please rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, mm -hmm. relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. Mm -hmm. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Penaconi, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Aww. Oh, it's just one surprise after another. But since that Mr. Which day was he? <laughs> Sunday. Since Mr. Sunday. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally. I like how they keep introducing people with names of like time. We have March 7th and Sunday. Very interesting. Hmm. Are all the family names so strange? Uh, this is just a stage name, I guess. I thought so too. 
It's most likely some rule of Penacone's or the family's. I guess so. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. This is your dreamscape pass. It serves as your hotel room key, Ooh. as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. Nice. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream. Save your favorite happy bits and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out. Oh my god, wait, this is actual terms and conditions. Before you officially enter the dreams using the dream pool, please make sure you have already read the dream advisory. Please do not enter the dream naked. <laughs> Your initial appearance in the dreamscape is the same as how you entered it. In order to not startle other visitors, please enter the dream only after you have ensured that you are appropriately dressed. Please do not assume the identity of another individual. A family respects every guest's identity and privacy. Please do not impersonate, attack, or defame other guests in the dream. And on behalf of the Oak uh, Alfalfa, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and Iris families, we wish you happy dreams. During this present period, the Riviera Hotel in the Golden Hour Dreamscape is undergoing renovations. We apologize for any inconvenience this has caused to your journey in the Dreamscape. The start to this adventure does not take place upon white sheets of snow, nor the imperious heights of the Zancho. Aside from the riddling seeking, the riddle seeking men and women all seem to be well. Speaking of, it appears no one has asked you to a certain question. What kind of trip do you enjoy? I personally enjoy... How about tourist destinations? What a commendable go-getter you are. Traveling with you must be an experience full of adventures and excitement. Though come to think of it, your role might then clash with March 7th. Maybe you should reconsider your personal purpose and make yourself a man that offers novelty as their worth. Damn! Use these stickers to decorate your Dreamscape Pass handbook pages. No, I don't want to use adventuring. Get this man out of here. You know what? You get the smallest one. But y'all like Topaz? I still think Topaz is um, not the greatest of people. I mean, she shows she wants to change, but you know, Topaz is still iffy. This is a long hallway. Is it just me or is this hotel too big for its own good? <laughs> We're finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Well, how about a drink first? Penacone's Soul Glad is very famous. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Hmm. Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Penacone to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. Yeah? You recall correctly, but... There was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? Mm. <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. Wait, did it play for certain people then? But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express Engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. Hmm. A distress call method regularly used by the Nameless. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. Hmm. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this Watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. Alright, so there's something more to everyone that's been invited here. We've all been invited here on a mission, more like. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone. Yeah. And it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. He's saying that there's 
fake administrators. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Mm. Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting <laughs> with each passing second. He said, yes, yes, I don't have to sit here and do absolutely nothing. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why, before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. <laughs> oh, poor Walt. <laughs> I too just found out about the invite thingy. That's because you were zonked out the whole ride. No one had the chance to tell you. True. That was not my fault though. I didn't mean to do that. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penicone? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? Uh, there are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful mm. vacation. Penicone is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. True. Head back to your rooms. Get some rest and prepare to enter the dreamscape. Yeah. It's time to head back to my room. So there is a hidden reason as to why we were invited here. And it probably wasn't from the Penicone family itself. The decor in here is a little uh, loud for my taste. <laughs> so this is how Astral High Society does things, huh? He wants to keep himself humble. Uh, about the watchmaker. They say he's a historically important figure in Penacone, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. Such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams. But how and why he's involved with that invite, and why his name popped up in the encrypted message allegedly sent by a nameless, I've got no leads for now. Mm. The family believes in the harmony, and their altruism is well known across the stars. A trait that is intimately tied to Panacone's stability and prosperity. But some factions have always been wary of the family, uh, uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive. So far, it seems to me that the family treats their guests with courtesy, so... I don't think we need to worry about that for now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what about the dream journey then? The dream Penicone is divided into 12 moments. Personally, I'm interested in the moment of soul. It's a visual dreamscape steeped in Penicone's history and civilization. Nerd! Sorry. Penicone's Grand Museum, the Primal Waking Library, the Paperfold Academy. The pasts that we chase may be stored in these places. Mm, true. What's wrong? Not turning in? Can't find your room? Or do you have something on your mind? Well, about the watchmaker. One can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the watchmaker. Penicone's household name and figure. Fortune, fame, status. He built everyone's futures with his bare hands and became the symbol of dreams. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the watchmaker's origin and past, and there are even some who suspect he's a conceptual construct of the family. Oh, so he's not even real, he's just a construct? For now, I do not think this invite is linked to the watchmaker. His legacy... It sounds more like a marketing hook to drum up more traffic, if nothing else. Could be. About the IPC representative. Uh, an IPC ambassador who knows more than he lets on. 
a silver-tongued businessman, a flamboyant and debonair aristocrat. He could be all of them. My instincts tell me he's much more than meets the eye. Before the dust settles, we should maintain amicable relations with all camps while keeping our guards up. Yeah, that's only if they, they want to back off. I can't sleep from all the excitement, huh? I can't wait to experience the dream world. Where are you thinking of going? Uh, the moment of dusk, obviously. Uh How can you not visit the shopping paradise when you're at the resort of all resorts? I'm all ready to fill my bags to the brim. Wait, if you buy stuff in the dream world, does it come back with you? After I'm wondering. doing my shopping, I'll get all dolled up in an evening gown to attend Miss Robin's show at Penacony Grand Theater. So about Robin. You know, it's weird. Welt noticed it too, about how Miss Robin's voice sounded somewhat weary. I can't quite put my finger on it. But it was different than usual. That's true. Could she be tired out from her cosmic concert tour? Insisting on performing under such circumstances. Miss Robin is a superstar among celebrities. Here I was thinking of some good old relaxation. But nope. This event is a wild ride. The various factions deciphering the riddle. A power struggle of past legacies. It feels like we're in a live-action detective saga. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll even witness classic scenarios like family feuds, tragic losses, worlds torn apart, espionage situations, rivers running red with blood. Oh my god. Like what? This is simply too thrilling. Why did she call him Welt? That's true. She has been calling him Welt instead of Mr. Yang. That's weird. Sounds kind of scary, though. <laughs> Don't worry. Welt and Himeko will have our backs if things go wrong. Let's just make the most of it all while we're here. God. Why is my room door oh. open? Oh my god, Adventuring's in here. Why is he here? Why'd you cut? Why'd you butt? Fortuitous. <laughs> we meet again. What do you have? Room key access to my. Sh Bruh. Uh. D d d d we meet again, friend? Yeah! I have to keep uh, this friendly. <laughs> That's right, pal. Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. True. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. My fault. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well. My fault. Friend. My fault, dog. You were the one who transferred it to me? Of course. What, you thought the family acted simply out of their own goodwill? Panacone's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? <laughs> Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? All right, buddy. Let's relax. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Mm. All right, fine. I'll entertain him. I feel like if I don't give in to his demands, he's just going to kick me out of his Ah, cutting to the chase. <laughs> I like that. Simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. Yeah. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards. As well as the preservation's protection. Hmm. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. <laughs> you possess a distinct quality. So magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? What do you mean by that? Because 
The only power I have inside of me is that I got a f***ing ticking time bomb. The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. Yeah, you mean a Stellaron? You mean the one thing that literally is cancer? <laughs> Mr. Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? Hmm, how did you know? <laughs> I know now. You don't I shouldn't have, have said it. Now. Damn it! <sighs> I should have said for I didn't know what he was talking about. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. I don't like you. I'm already s very suspicious of this dude. I can't make the decision on my own though. I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. Oh yes, before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. The chip is tossed into the air and in the blink of an eye it disappears. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. No? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine because... Uh -oh. Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. What? And no other choice. Hello there. Huh? Oh! What are you doing in my room? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. Wait, what? What? Your room? Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what's going on? <laughs> Alright, the whole talk got someone to answer for this. Well played, friend. Our room now. You haven't been in Penacony long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. I, 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 I am completely innocent in this situation. I didn't do anything. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. <laughs> Bro's threatening me now. I'll make my now. exit now. Have a pleasant stay. Bro's threatening me now. Oh, great. <laughs> well, thank you. Why haven't you left? Uh, I, why, uh, this, this is, what? This is my room. This is my room. <laughs> no, this is my room. <laughs> I was just teasing. Okay. Please forgive me. All right, This all right. is indeed your room. All right, I get it. I saw it. that man <laughs> snooping about while I was in the hallway. You got it. It didn't seem like he was searching for his own room, so it made me wary. You got it then, mm-hmm. I later saw you walking into the same room, so I began to connect the dots. Also, the text is red. The situation got a bit tense. I hope you don't mind that I pulled this stunt. Yeah, the text is red, so there's something happening. Anyway, as long as you're all right. I should return to my room, too. Something about that red text is wrong. But before I go, can I ask you a question? Oh, here we go. Oh, God. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know, have we met somewhere before? Again? Oh, deja vu. Is that so? I haven't been able to shake off this familiar feeling since just now. Maybe this is what they call deja vu. <laughs> Or it could purely be serendipity. Mm. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. Blop. Do you still remember me? <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. Oh. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Damn. Galaxy Ranger Could Adelon. it be me? This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. 
And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. Mm. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Uh, forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Mm. What? Wait, why Why are you back? Someone else? Mm. I thought you said you weren't going to see us again. <laughs> Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? <laughs> All these hallways really look the same to me. God damn it. You show Acheron the way. She thanks you again and again. Take her time. Acheron. She goes in the middle. <laughs> She's going to be huge. There's some actual weird shit going on. I'm still trying to decipher what the red text is going to mean. Something to do with choices, definitely. Also, f that guy. That dude is definitely up to some shady shit, man. You approach the dream pool and hear the sweet voice of a female singer coming from all around the room. Fragrance permeating the air. Together, these two elements envelop you in their embrace. The scent is sweet, profound, and luxurious. Reminiscent of ripened fruits and a distant ocean painted by the hues of a setting sun. Perhaps it's time to enter the dream. You curl your body, lying down in the center of the dream pool. The icy liquid rises above your waist. The gentle female voice continues to whisper in your ear, accompanied by the tolling of evening bells. The wild wind rustles through the barren plains while nightingales, seagulls, swans, and ravens add their symphony to the choir. Pendulum swings. You wonder what dream you'll delve into and slowly drift into drowsiness. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Just focus me, 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 me. on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. Uh, are we sure this is a dream? This is getting pretty freaky. We're falling. What just happened? Uh, what is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? Handsome bust. <laughs> You're late. By 4 minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. Mm. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Do you? Clamorous people do not make friends. <laughs> Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. Mm. <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts mm. and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? Oh, so Sunday got his stuff? Mm. Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. Oh, it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Damn. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? <laughs> you're funny. I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Panacone back from the IPC otherwise? Mm. <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. More to play devil's advocate. Perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. <laughs> if you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or... Maybe...
Maybe they're thinking mm. of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Oh God. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. <laughs> well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? And what is your plan, dude? <laughs> Stop being mysterious. Well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. Of course. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sagonian upbringing? His mouth isn't moving, what? <laughs> then... Do you trust me? That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, I did not mean to offend. Damn. None taken. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang, I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern... Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a galaxy ranger. The whole conversation felt... off. Help me look into her... Huh? Oh. <laughs> he disappeared. He's like, nah, this shit, I'm out of here. <laughs> you take it too long, dog, I'm out. Well, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well. Seems like I'm on my own again. The atmosphere here creeps me out. What was that weird noise just now? A note? Watchmaker's advice. The impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it, and then you shall be granted an audience. Find the impossible. This way. Can you see me? Over here. Misha. Please, come this way. Hi, Misha. I thought I heard a familiar voice. Is it coming from the painting? Ooh! Whoa! Oh, That's cool. You're here, wonderful. Oh. Hi, Misha. Oh, I, I thought you wouldn't notice me. Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. Well, well we meet again, I guess. Huh? You remember me? I'm so glad. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The Reverie in the Dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I don't know if it looks run down. It looks, it looks very pretty, in fact. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the golden hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. So what happened to the reverie? Oh, you're asking about the reverie in the dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. What's golden hour? You've perhaps read about it in your dreamscape past, but I could explain it one more time. Golden Hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Penacony, and its time coincides with midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Mm. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Mm, okay. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with realities. So, don't worry. Okay. So, I just picked up a note. Note? Did you find it in the room? It wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? No. It was my uh... mistake. I failed to tidy up properly and caused an inconvenience for you. I'm truly sorry. No, you're good, Misha. Don't worry. You're doing your job just fine. You just go right through that door to reach Golden Hour. I wish you an unforgettable dream. That door over there? Also, you guys see that red thing over there, right? I don't know what that is. Behind this door is the real Venaconi. I'm looking forward to it. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, we're falling! Oh, we're falling! Uh oh! We're falling! Huh? 
Huh? Wait, do they see us falling? <laughs> Help! Uh-oh. And we just died. <laughs> we actually just died. Wait! He did the Goku! <laughs> he did the Dragon Ball meme! <laughs> it's in the Yamcha pose! <laughs> It did the f***ing Yamcha pose. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> Are we in heaven? <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. You what the? the dreamscape. Seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. Robin gives a slight nod to her brother, then locks her emerald gaze with yours. She smiles, and you see the ripple shimmering in the depths of her lake green eyes, followed by a mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool. What the? Your vision dims as your body dissolves, becoming one with the fluidity of the time space. You resonate and become attuned with the serene fusion of frequencies. Your heart drums leading this symphony. Don't They chant, instincts compels, and the stagnant fluid in your chest begins to flow again. A gentle warmth emanates from within, saturating every inch of your being. The melodies slow down, fade away like a lullaby. A seven-colored illusion delicately caresses the top of your head and closes your eyes. It's movement tender and compassionate. You feel contentment and drift into a deep slumber. You open your eyes and feel a vitality like no other. The difficulty you were experiencing a moment earlier feels like a distant memory. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. Nice. What, what did you just do to me? Did you just brainwashed me? <laughs> I merely changed your state of mind for you to feel more at ease. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Essentially, the dream of Panacone is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. Okay. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water, but once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. All right, <laughs> does this mean I can levitate in the air? Well, theoretically you can. But it would be very difficult to pull off. After all, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Memoria yet. I can do it. I can do that. Just watch. I'm him. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the Memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the Harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Mm. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast. All right, so for those two, take your guesses now. Who's going to be the four star? Only one of them can be a five star. Sunday, the girl, both five star? Mm, I hope that they're both five star, honestly. Actually, do I wish they were both five star? Because if I, if they're both five star, then that means I have a less chance of getting both of them. They're both kind of cool. Hmm. I wonder. 